Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. And as always, for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today, we're gonna continue on with our X9 Draft League content. We are going into week eight and we are facing Bryce and his Brave Bird Buccaneers. Now, Bryce is one of the players and the only player in the X9 Draft League that is undefeated so far. He's 7-0 so far in the league, which is phenomenal. Bryce is doing an amazing job. He's actually crushing the competition. So this week is gonna be really tough and we'll cover his team right now i'll throw it up on the screen for you obviously as always before we get into anything make sure you do check out bryce's side of the battle his analysis everything like that all his socials will be linked down in the description below at the very top so you'll be able to jump over check out his youtube video and his analysis and team and things like that because it's always good to see the other side of things but as we get into his team he has running he had a great draft to be honest his first pick was dragapult then he had primarina two great picks then he's got Arcanine, Alolan Ninetales, Mandibuzz, Oranguru, Boltund, which is a little bit of an odd pick, but a really good one for tier four. And then his three picks were Terrakian, Steelix, Serena, and Mian Chao. So there's some kind of resemblance, semblance, familiarity with series 10 with the Serena and Mian Chao. We're kind of seeing how good those Pokemon are now in series 10 uh, as it's kind of forming the metagame there but uh, he's been using them to a lot of success and it gives you a lot of headaches when you're trying to build your team around this sort of pokemon he's got a lot of threats he's got a trick room pokemon that can work really well and do a devastating work like the steelix there you can't underestimate that in a trick room environment he's got tailwind on the mandibus he's got speed control with the the dragapult max airstream there he's got icy wind on the alolan nine tails got intimidate on the arcanine so he's got everything he's got trick room on the oranguru as well so he's got a lot of utility throughout his uh, team he's got also a lot of beat up pokemon that can um benefit from that justified ability obviously the the uh the arcanine and the tracker and the main kind of contenders here and one change we did make this week on into this match was i was really worried about the beat up combination and um i traded out Torcat, one pokemon we've never really used and i don't feel like we're going to utilize it in the next couple of weeks anyway so i thought it'd be better fungus was available it's obviously not a moongus but it can act just as good as a moongus um, and fungus was a pokemon that was available so i traded Torcat and we got fungus and we are going to feature it this week so we'll get into our team and i've got to give a big shout out to my good friend bebum as well for providing us with the team this week um as always he's been very helpful in, in helping us get the teams and um helping us kind of get the pokemon and so on so we've got the venusaur uh we've got leaf storm weather ball because one of the things that we'll be doing this week is utilizing ice q so weather ball will play off the sunny day also the liquidation max move which potentially will be going for so uh the water type weather ball and an ice type weather ball which will help against Dra dragapult as well so i felt it was a bit more beneficial in the sludge bomb in this uh, respect we've got the Ockerberry to help us against arcanine in particular because with the sun up we can take um a flare blitz in the sun with the Ockerberry from a jolly max attack arcanine which is pretty important i think um obviously the other two moves earth power to hit arcanine pretty hard and some other things on the team like steelix and then uh leaf storm just for the the, the coverage we got uh scrafty with the assault vest makes a lot of sense this week not a bunch of uh, special attackers on Bryce's team and uh, more physical we went for a more defensive build uh, with an impish nature um and a kind of standard move set really just fake out drain punch crunch and snarl the crunch and the attack investment allow us to uh to hit ko uh 252 hp oranguru um, the fake out is going to be really important for us um and the defense investment allows us to take a close combat from a mian Xiao. so the big part of the team is going to be the ice Q because i feel like it's the one thing like if you look at bryce's team on the surface it's very physical and ice q's got the great ability ice face which gives it immunity to its first physical attack that it takes so it gives us the room to potentially get the belly drum up and then we can max and go from there we've got the citrus berry on it just to give us a little bit of health back um and then we can kind of hopefully utilize Ice Q to take down the majority of his team. And even Primarina, if it doesn't max and it hasn't got um, any kind of, we haven't had Intimidate on us, even like Icicle Crash max after a belly drum would be enough in most cases to take down even Primarina. So it wasn't much option really aside from uh, going outside of these two 
two move options which i feel kind of cover most things on his team but ice cube the big player on the team this week i think it's a, a bit of a sleeper pick so hopefully it works out then we got mimikyu i think we need trick room even though he's got the orangaroo which could set up trick room for the steelix i feel like late game mimikyu trick room could really help us out especially with the tall call uh, we went with a sword stance set just to give us a little bit of pressure, especially I think it works well with the, the Fungus that can redirect as well. Um, and then we've got Torkoal. Uh, went for a bit of an odd set here because obviously we've got no fire type move, but I don't feel like we need it because I think against something like Steelix, we just iron defense in front of it and then we can body press it. Um, and against the other threats on the team, we've got Amnesia as well with leftovers as the item uh, help us recover. Talk call if the trick room goes up, going to be amazing, going to be an amazing spot. And the thing is with opponents, when a trick room goes up in front of talk call, they're likely to protect a lot of the time, which gives us room to kind of set up those either the, the amnesias or the, the iron defenses, which, you know, our opponent might find difficult to take down after that, especially with the leftovers recovery. And then we'll end up with the Fungus, our newest addition to the team. A pretty standard move set. I went with no protect here. I think synthesis with the sun from the talk call really helps out a lot. We've got the EVO light on uh, the fungus we can take a max airstream from a life orb max dragapult uh, with the EVO light and the um, the investment oh my god what am I doing there we go okay yeah and then pollen puff helps like restore health on something like a moongus because we are slower than it by two points in trick room so if the trick room does go up we really want to try and get like fungus and Torkoal out on the field next to each other so that is the team in a nutshell Hopefully it makes some sort of sense. We're going to be two seconds away um, and then we'll jump into the match with Bryce. So we'll be right back, friends. I don't know if the ice cube is going to work tonight. I really hope it does. I really hope it does. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll soon find out, won't we? Here is the team and we'll get in. As I say, like I think like Bryce is 7-0 at the minute. So it's always going to be tough. Always going to be tough to go into this. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm kind of quietly confident that we can get a win. But also at the same time, I'm not like, I'm not going to be super sad if we lose because Bryce has been doing all the good things. So let's have a look. What has he brought? He's got the Dragapult, the Taraki, and Orangaroo, Serena, Steelix, and Alolan Ninetales. So kind of not too far off what we kind of expected him to bring. I'm pleased there's not Arcanine there. It makes life a bit easier for the Venusaur uh, in particular. Um, and also the Ice Q as well, uh, because there's a lot of physical threats on, on Bryce's team. Like the really, the only special attackers that he's got is the Ninetales and the Orangaroo. Um, so that's like a huge bonus for us. So I think we can lead the Ice Q. Fungus, I think we go Scrafty because I think Scrafty is going to be super important for us in this match. Um, and no Primarina as well makes things like really, really good for us. Um, it's just what do we bring as our last one? Do we want to bring like Venusaur, which could do some work, although we're not going to have the sun, uh, which makes it a little bit tricky. It's just kind of identifying what, what the last Pokemon could be. I think, you know, like on face value of it, like he's got the Alolan Ninetales, he's got the Steelix, the Serena, uh, the Terrakian, if we can remove early on and the Dragapult early on, then Torkoal has a really good, a really good end game in this match. So I think we go Torkoal. We'll see how we get on. Like I say, with all these, it is a best of three. So it's three sets. Uh, if we win two in a row, we win, obviously. But like the first game, we don't need to worry about too much. We kind of just fish for a little bit of information and we'll see how we get on. We'll see if it works out all right. See, tonight I've got my Pepsi Max for maximum, maximum effect. And we've also got a headband. And this is the reason why I brought the Fungus. We see the Dragapult and the track in. Now, although they could just rock slide here, I've got the Rage Powder to prevent the beat up. And we can also just go Belly Drum. Belly Drum! And we can go Rage Powder. Or we could go Protect on Ice Q. Um, we could go Protect on Ice Q and Spore and into Track in. But nah, we'll go Rage Powder. We'll pull away the beat up, potential beat up, then we'll go Belly Drum. Ooh! The Track in, I think, is going to be the Pokemon that Max is here, which is good for us because I think. Fungus will be able to take. Ooh, it's a Dragapult. Well, we know we're going to be able to take an attack from uh, the Dragapult. We'll take a Max Airstream, even if they go uh, Life Orb. And they're going to go Rock Slide. They're going to go Rock Slide, 100%. But the Ice Cube gets a Belly Drum off for free here, so that's fine. So there's a Rage Pedder. So Fungus will go down, but it does then allow Scrafty to kind of come onto the field, which is fine. Scarf Terrakian, which, which is fine. 
Um, Fungus takes an attack. We get the Ice Face broken, uh, which is fine. But that 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 puts our speed to 130. And there's the Airstream, which will take Fungus down. They do get the... Oh, we actually survived, so they're not alive, Forb. Fungus doing its job. Can the Effect Spore kick in? I don't know if it will against Airstream, will it? Probably not. Belly Drum. Here we go. Okay, well, we get that off. That's amazing. So what we want to do, we get the, the Citrus Berry activated here, which is perfect. Um, we don't want to max just yet, I don't think. <sighs> oh, we could max. And probably Scarf Terrakian, though. That's the issue. Um, I think I might want to max Guard. I mean, we could actually just go Max Hailstorm into the Dragapult and just switch into to Scrafty. Just get the Intimidate onto the Terrakion and then we keep Fungus for later on in this match. Get rid of the Dragapult in one hit. Because uh, there's no way, there's no way the Dragapult, there's no way anything survives a Max attack from from the um, the Ice Q now. No way. No way. No way! So we'll get Fungus out. We'll get good old Scrafty and get that Intimidate. Obviously not going to affect the Dragapult because of that clear body, but we we affect the uh, the Terrakian, which is the main thing. And then we're going to see big old bad Ice Q come to the park and uh, see what it can do. Like, I do worry about, like, obviously Rock Slide and then Max Airstream from the Dragapult. Going to be a little bit frustrating to deal with. But, I mean, if we can remove the Dragapult here from the field, I mean, we're in such a great position. Like, honestly, like, such a good position. We know it's not life or Dragapult, so um, there's a Rock Slide. I just want not really doing too much. And there's Max Woman trying to lower our attack, which is a fair enough. Fair enough. Not enough to take us down, which is fine. And we've got the fake out onto the track in next turn. So uh, it does lower attack by one stage, but we're like plus five. So I mean, really, it's not really that big a deal. Get rid of the Dragapult nice and easy. And obviously you can't see it because I've got this weird camera on tonight. Four reasons, unbeknown. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's all right. So we got our ice face back, which is not ideal. Um, but it means we do avoid any rock slide damage this next turn so it, it's kind of fine at the same time you know uh, we get rid of the dragapult and it all comes down to like if they've got a special attacker because they need a special attacker the big problem here would be if we see serena um because then it stops our fair count which isn't ideal but at the same time i think ice Q will be able to outspeed serena anyway so we should be able to take the rock slide and then attack into the Serena and kind of clear the field of that. So, let's see. So we get big, rid of the big Dragapult. Serena it is. Okay, that's all right. I think we adjust our board position. I think we switch out Scrafty. Um, is Serena. Hmm. Siri's going crazy again. Um, do we max guard here? Maybe, 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 maybe. Or do we outspeed Serena? I just don't want to leave ourselves kind of short where we don't outspeed Serena. I think... No, I think we go for the max hailstorm into Serena again. And we switch into Fungus. And then we keep Torkoal for the late game. Because then we can put... Terrakian down to minus two, which is against like Scrafty Torkoal, it's going to be doing nothing. We don't need to worry about the Primarina in that situation, so that's fine. So there is the Rock Slide. It takes down the Fungus, but it gets rid of our Ice Face, so we should get that speed boost. And with the dynamic speed changes here, it should mean that we outspeed the Serena and, and get the, the Max Hailstorm into that Serena now. Yeah, and we can take it down at plus five. Um, and then we get Scrafty back onto the field again, get rid of the Serena, we can fake out the Terrakion, take down whatever's next to the Terrakion, and then we deal with the Terrakion with just Scrafty. So we should be able to wrap this one up pretty pretty quickly. Uh, nice Q doing a really good job here. So Scrafty back in, because we get that fake out. And obviously the Serena is a really nice call. Yeah, this is it. So the uh, the nine tails, but we don't worry about the nine tails. We don't worry about it one little bit because it's not scarfed. It might be sashed. Uh, it might have dazzling gleam, but it's not going to be enough to take down the scrafty. Um, 
I think we double enter the track in here because I think um, we got Max Geyser and we got Fake Out. We'll outspeed the Nine Tails. We know the track in Scarfed, and then we got Talk All in the back, which closes the game, locks the game up for us, 100%. Yeah, there's a Max Geyser. Yeah. And then let's see what the Nine Tails does. Maybe Dazzling Gleam here, which will take Ice Q down uh, eventually. But I mean, we got the maximum like result from Ice Q here. Um, Moonblast. Okay. It's into Ice Q, which is fine because we got Torkoal to come in now, get rid of the the rain, put the sun up, and then it's 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 not plain sailing because we haven't got a fire type move. But I mean, it's it's still going to be all right for Torkoal to to beat the Nine Tails. I don't think they're going to have an eff a super effective attack against us. We can just iron defense once and then body press, and a couple of body presses should be enough to take it down. Um, and it's part ice as well, so our fighting type attacks are kind of neutral against it. So that should be all right. Let's see, can we do this? I mean, we could snarl as well, just to be, just to be, yeah, we could snarl. Let's snarl, just to allow that special attack, because that's all it's got, but the battle's cancelled. So here we go, right. And the thing is there that Bryce hasn't actually found out inf any information about a talk call, so that's really good for us. But we do take that first game, which is amazing news for us. We'll take his league card. Um, and we'll jump straight into game two. But like I keep saying, you know, we can't take that win is like is is good news. Like we're going to take this set. We he's, Bryce is going to adjust. He's a great player. He's going to adjust going into this game. So we need to try and figure out how he's going to adjust to deal with the ice cube. That's such a, a problem for him to deal with. And I think the way that he deals with it is probably Steelix or Angaroo, I would imagine, or probably the Pokemon that he kind of goes with in this situation. But I really don't feel like I want to change things up like that much because it was it was so effective how we how we got going in that match, you know. Um, the only thing we could potentially do is maybe lead Ice Cube Scrafty, um, potentially, and then have Fungus Tokol in the back rather than leading with Ice Cube and Fungus. But it kind of. It stops us getting around the beat up, but it, has he got beat up? I don't know. Maybe. I think he probably has because he hasn't got Life Orb and Dragapult, so it would make sense that you've got that. I think we just got the exact same again, you know. I think there's no point of changing things up. I don't really think he's got the answers to it, and if we need to adjust, then we adjust on the fly. <clears throat> and we we'll see. We'll just ask the question, have you got an answer for the Ice Cube? Have you got a better way to deal with it? Um, and if he hasn't, you know then then we can kind of just do what we did game one let's see dragapult orangaroo one of bryce's signature leads a very good lead as well um you've got the instruct there and obviously the psychic typing coming out from orangaroo going to be very good has it got the safety goggles because that would mean that you're able to um potentially get around um the rage powder which wouldn't be ideal because if you do have that, then you could potentially go for a foul player after we belly drum. But so it is a little bit risky from our end. Um, we could protect and just go for a spore into Dragapult, or we could pull into Scrafty here. It's just the thing is, if we don't get Ice Q set up, it's not it's not the best situation. I think he's going to have foul play. On the on the Orangaroo. I think we'll pull into Scrafty and we'll go for a spore into Dragapult here. Because I think we play it safe. I think he's definitely gonna go for the foul play. And I think he's definitely hundred percent got safety goggles. That would be my best guess. Like what other reason would it be for, for bringing Orangaroo? You don't want to set the trick room up in front of Fungus. He's got inner focus, we know that, so we can fake it out. You can't instruct a maximum either, so <clears throat> unless you want to get rid of the um, the fungus in one shot and get rid of a redirection, which could make sense, you know, definitely could. But we don't necessarily need to go for the belly drum with Ice Q. It's going to be powerful enough without without the belly drum. Max Mindstorm. Ooh, is that enough? Nowhere near enough. Goes for the psychic terrain now. Are you doubling in? Are you doubling in? 
The other option is we've always got as a fallback. I didn't mention this in the team analysis. Ooh, expanding force. That is a nice little tech there. Huh, okay. Get rid of the fungus. The other option is we can max Scrafty. Scrafty was always an option that I, I, I had as like in the bag where we could max Scrafty. Um, because I thought, yeah, Scrafty with the Assault Vest can do so much work against his team. And I think it makes more sense without the, the Primarina. There's always the Ninetales to, to have to worry about. But when we're maxed with the Assault Vest, we can do so much work, you know. The thing is, we could also max Ice Q here. Because <laughs> he's going to go max Wormwind. He's going to 100% go max Wormwind here. Did we just go Crunch? I think we had... Well, we definitely had Speed Orangaroo. We could just go double into the Orangaroo. And worry about the the, the Venny Drum after. Because that double up will get the Orangaroo. And stops it from going for the Expanding Force. Yeah, I think we go for the double up. Because Ice Q in this situation is immune to anything Dragapult throws out at us. It is, it is a physical attacker. So Ice Q got like a free turn here. In essence, <clears throat> I wonder what's in the back. I wonder if he's brought the track in. But if we can remo remove the Orangaroo now, that's that's pretty big for us, I think. Max Wormwind, yeah, we kind of expected that. Scrafty, yep. But I still believe a crunch and a max uh, and, and an ice move will be enough to get the Dragapult, uh, to get the Orangaroo, Max Hailstorm. Hopefully it is, because I think with the life orb, you're way more offensive Orangaroo. You haven't got the defense investment. Ooh, it might be able to take the crunch, you know? It may be able to. Let's see. Let's see. There's a crunch. Is it enough? It's not enough. It does take it. The Max Wormwind doing its job. Expanding force coming out. Not affecting Scrafty. Um, but the Ice Q will take a big chunk of damage from that. But it's still not too bad. It's not too bad. Um... Now we can get the Orangaroo the next turn. It's just whether or not... Ah, uh, we should take another Max Wormwind. We should do. We could double up into Dragapult here. Because I think if we get the Dragapult... They're going to go Max Wormwind again. They're going to 100% go Max Wormwind. And they're going to get an Expanded Force off. And they still got two Pokemon in the back. So we kind of want to be a little bit careful here. Um... Hmm... We probably want to go crunch. Oh, I worry about weakness policy on the Dragapult now. Now we'll go crunch into Dragapult and we'll go for the Hailstorm into Orangaroo. Because we don't want the Orangaroo getting another expanding force off for kind of free. So Max Airstream coming out. Scrafty will be gone. So it's a good job that we went after the Orangaroo here, to be honest. Yeah, we're falling a little bit behind in this match so far. But that's the last turn of the the uh, the Dragapult Max turns. Um, oh, that speeds us after the max airstream, which is not good. But it does knock itself out, so this does mean that we're going to redirect into the Dragapult um, and get that Citrus Berry boost. So that's that's helpful. And we still got Torkoal in the back. Torkoal could be our savior here, maybe. Maybe, if we can create room for it. I wish my camera wasn't right there, because we can't see exactly how much the Dragapult's got uh, left. I'm going to move my camera in a minute. I'm just going to move my camera right now. Let's see. Uh, we need to move the, the border. Where is my cam border? There we go. Okay. And my camera. No, not that one. This one. Okay. Dragapult takes no damage from that. So, Dragapult. In a good spot. Okay. Well, we get Torkoal in. <clears throat> and Serena. Okay. This isn't actually too bad because if we can make the room to get an, an iron defense off now, that's quite good for us. That's actually really good for us because um, we need to get rid of the Dragapult, but it's probably going to Phantom Force, so we, it's not a great idea to attack into it this turn, I don't think. 
uh, I think we iron defense while we've got the opportunity to and we go for the max hailstorm into the Serena yeah there's a phantom force that makes a lot of sense they're gonna go after the ice cube probably because they're gonna attack into it here with um, with the Serena I think to break our ice face okay but it does depend what they got left you know if they've got well what have they got in the back if they've got Terrakian and we get like one more iron defense up there's no way they they can they can break us there's no way like nothing on their team is going to be able to beat the um the Torkoal after an iron defense so we should be able to kind of close this one out um yeah the max whirlwinds are really really powerful in this match against the ice cube and the fact that he's done well to kind of stop us getting the belly drum off it's very difficult, but Torkoal, our kind of savior here. Let's see if we can kind of close this one out. It's going to be very difficult against the um, the Dragapult, which we've got no way to um, to beat, other than the hail the hail damage um, <laughs> with Torkoal. So it might go to time. May do, may do. Uh, we'll go for a body press into Serena, and we can't really protect here. I mean, we've got the Icicle Crash, but. There's no chance we're going to take a Phantom Force from the Dragapult. Unless, unless they attack into the Torkoal for some reason. But nah, they're not going to do that. No, so they take down the Ice Cube. And what's this Serena going to do? Endeavor. Okay, well that's quite a nice option. Get the Body Press off though. And that'll be enough to take it down. And then we'll be able to see what this last Pokemon is from my opponent's side of the field. But we do have leftovers, which makes it a little bit easier to contend with. We can see that the Dragapult's got the uh, the safety goggles there, so it literally is going to come come down to time, I think, if we can get another Iron Defense off. It depends what the last Pokemon is, of course, from Bryce's side of the field. So it may go to a game three. It is Steelix. Okay. Hmm. Can we get another Iron Defense off? If we can, we're in we're in business. I think what we'll do here is we'll just protect. Unless they got Iron Defense, and that makes things very difficult for us. Uh, where we should have probably Iron Defense right here in front of them. Because if they got Iron Defense, I think we just have to forfeit this game. Because there's no way we can beat the Dragapult. And I think that's a big thing going into Game 3 for us. Like, we need to make sure that we get the Dragapult before it comes down to, like, a Torkoal end game. In all honesty. But the, the, the Steelix might... Yeah, the Steelix just attack in here. Which is, which is fine. Uh, Steelix buffeted by the... Um, okay. And we'll just recover that chip off, which is good. The high horsepower. Mm. Did we just body press here? I think we just body press the Steelix rather than go after anything else. And then we can protect on the Dragapult. So the drag Dragon Dart shouldn't really do very much. No, it does very little. And the high horsepower. Uh, it's going to do a good chunk of damage, but we know the Life Orb's not there, but... Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, even if we get this, the hill takes us down, so Bryce's going to be able to take this game. So we get the Steelix, but the Dragapult going to be able to win out, unless the hill stops here, and then we got a chance. Does the hill stop here? Maybe? Nah. Nah, we got one more turn of it. So Bryce takes that one. It's 1-1. One, one. It's an exciting set so far, but we get a game three. I think we probably could have went for the Belly Drum early on. I think we maybe... Should have just went Ice Q mode straight away. Um, knowing that there's no, knowing that there's no foul play from the Orangaroo and just just the uh, expanding force, you know. Hmm. The other thing, what we could potentially do is go Mimikyu. We could go Mimikyu, but I think knowing the expanding force damage on the Ice Q, I think we just go for it. I honestly think we just got Fungus, Ice Q. Um, we need to prioritize the Dragapult over everything else. I think we go Scrafty, and as our last Pokemon, I think we have to go Torkoal. I think it's worked out. I think we got the same four again. Yeah. And I think we try and get the Belly Drum off turn one. And then go after the Dragapult. Because we know the damage. Like, I think that second game we were scared of the foul play. And the, the safety goggles. But we know the safety goggles is on the Dragapult now, right? 
So it could go after the ice cube turn one, but I don't think he can afford to. I think he needs to go after. I think you need to go after the ice cube, um, uh, the, the, the fungus, because you need to get rid of that redirection. Oh, it's draggable tracking. Well, well, you know, we like to see that because I think it gets around the beat up, but at the same time, we can um, just go Rage Powder Belly Drum. Yeah, because, yeah, let's just do that. They're going to go, hmm. I mean, one potential thing we could do is switch into Scrafty here, get the minus one, go for the fake out the next turn. Um, no, I think I think we do it. I think we just go for it. I don't think we play around. Like, we could just, like, protect, try and get the belly drum up. But we know we're going to see the rock slide here. I think what they're going to do is double enter Ice Q, though. I think that's the big play for them. I think they're going to rock slide. Break our Ice Face and then go after the Ice Q hard. But if they do that, then we get the Fungus. And then we can... Mm, we can't Rage Powder the Dragapult, though. That's the problem. Unless you go after the, the Fungus because you want rid of it. I don't know, but we know that the safety goggles are there. Fungus avoids the rock slide. It's a pity that Ice Cube didn't. Get the Ice Face broken. Max Phantasm. It's into the Ice Cube, gonna double in there. Yeah, and we, we're not gonna be able to get a Belly Drum off now because we get, we do get um, a Citrus Berry, but the minus defense is not helping us, like one little bit. Okay. Fails. Yeah. Okay. I think we have to pull a double switch. In all honesty, I think we need to go tall call. No, I think we go the other way around. Okay. Bryce has got us on the ropes here. We should have really, really seen this. I think what we do is we go... Um, Scrafty in for... No, 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 no. I think you go after Fungus here. I think we go Tokol in for Fungus, and I think we go Scrafty in for Ice Q. Because you're not worried about the Ice Q anymore. I think it's all going to be down to Scrafty here. We need to get around this Dragapult max turns. That's the big thing. And it might not be a bad thing because we're kind of keeping Fungus for later in this game, which might be a little bit better. Let's see where the Dragapult goes. Does it go after the Torkoal here? I think you go after the Fungus just to get rid of it because it's such a it's such a threat with like Spore or something like that. Rock Slide avoiding the Torkoal. Can't hit that slot for some reason, which is a little bit of a shame for Bryce. Um, are we going to see the Airstream? Yeah, into the talk hall. So that's that's perfect for us. That is that's ideal because now we can fake out an iron defense. Um, or or what we could do is, yeah, I think what we'll do is max Scrafty. I think we go for the max on the Scrafty. Let's do it. 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 Let's go iron defense on talk hall and let's go max. I've always wanted to max Scrafty. Always. I'm going to have to take the cam off so we can see the damage done. I'm, I'm going to get ready with the cam border and I'm going to take the Logitech off because I'm using my little webcam here today. So, um, Orangaroo coming out. Are we going to see Max Mindstorm? Let's see. He's not expecting Max Scrafty though. And with Fungus in the back, we don't worry too much about the Terrakion because we, like, they can close combat all they want, but close combat into Fungus. If we've got the Rage Powder, that's fine. Um, and especially if we can get an iron defense up here, we're in a good spot. So I'm going to take the cam off for a minute so we can see these attacks and see what we do. Okay, Max Wormwind. That's fine. We still got the mic on, by the way. Torkoal taking that pretty, like, not great, but at least the Psychic Train's not up, so we don't need to worry about the expanded Force. The minus attack's not ideal, but at the same time, um, it's not the worst thing in the world. And we're going to get some... Uh, mediocre damage, mediocre damage onto the Dragapult. Um, so, it's not too bad. But we get the Iron Defense up, which is good, which is good for us. And that's the end of the Dragapult max turns, I, I think. Or have they got one more turn? Have they got one more turn? I don't know. 
If we can get an Amnesia up as well, we don't even worry yet. Yeah, some end. So the Dragapult in a bit of an awkward spot now. Now we go after the Oranguru, I think. Because the Dragapult... Um, did we go after the Oranguru? It's risky going for Max Darkness here. That's the, that's the problem. Um, but the Oranguru not going to be able to... I think we just protect Torkoal. Did we protect Torkoal? I think we could body press. Max Darkness. Oranguru. I don't think it's going to have enough to take down Torkoal. We got, we're we pretty big special defensively. And I think the Dragapult switches out to Teraki in here, to be honest. Ooh, Oranguru is switching out. But we did body press just to kind of cover that slot, so that's all right. So we'll boost that justified ability. We'll probably see um, a Phantom. Ooh, Dragon Darts. Okay, that's fine. That's super fine. Like, Torkoal just, like, actually going to laugh that off. That's fine. Uh, we get the Max Darkness from the Scrafty into the track in but a body press plus two gonna be enough to get the track in even though we are boosting that justified ability so you would worry in normal situations but the double up in that slot is fine the big thing that we need to worry about is the um is the is the the uh the dragapult um so we get rid of the track in which is good and we're gonna get a little bit more health back with that torque call so we're still sitting in a really good spot Obviously, the big thing to worry about is the Dragapult because we don't want ourselves in that end game situation where we can't can't take down the Dragapult because a Torkoal can't actually hit it for for good damage, you know. And now Serena coming in. I mean, I don't know what Serena does really. I mean, what can Serena do to Torkoal? I mean, you've got a Rangaro in the back, I guess. We could just protect Torkoal. Um, or do we just double up? Because I feel like Phantom Force could come out again. But I just don't feel like you're able to take down the Torkoal. So I think we just double up. Um, we could go for a Max Knuckle as well. Get our attack boost into Serena. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's Max Knuckle. Dragapult flying, which is fine. We totally kind of, like I kind of expected that to be honest. We can protect on that the next turn or switch Scrafty out if we want to. Um, because like keeping Scrafty for an end game against a Dragapult is probably not too bad an idea. I'm interested to see what this Serena does though. So we get the max knuckle, get our attack boost, we kind of reset. Okay, play rough. Does a good chunk of damage to be honest, like, like being fair about it. Um, and the body press going to be enough to get that Siri. Oh, no, not quite enough. But I think the next turn, probably what we want to do is go for an Amnesia because I think the Amnesia kind of locks us against that that uh, Oranguru. Like, we then don't worry about the expanded force when it comes in. Like, one little bit. Um, or we could get rid of the Serena. I think we've got to switch Scrafty out. We've got to, si we've got to switch it out. Um, how do we just go after this? I think we just body press and then switch into... Do we just switch into Ice Cube? Mm. Or Fungus. I think we switch into Fungus because we've got the effect spore there and we'll take a fly 100%. And if we can get like maybe sleep or poison onto the Dragapult, that's huge for us, right? Effects ball, kick in. No, effects ball, triple axle. Okay, well, that's fine. Do they hit all three times? Are they going to hit all three times? And no effects ball? <gasps> How dare they? Okay, well, that's, 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 that's something. Get rid of Fungus, but that's all right. Um, we'll get rid of the Serena. We've got Scrafty to come in. The Dragapult's going to struggle to hit. Um... And like a body press and a crunch, you'll get the Oranguru, like 100%. So we got the recovery through the left of us there. Um, do we want the Ice Cube to come in? Probably not. I think we keep Ice Cube for, for the late game because I think it'll survive a Dragon a dragon Darts. And then we can get an Icicle Crash into the Dragapult if it's the last thing standing. Um, I don't think the, the Oranguru's got Protect. 
I'm going to have to bank on it not having protect, to be honest. Scrafty, the only way you can hit it is with, with fly. Um, and I think you can only expand in force into the Torkoal. Um, yeah, I think we just crunch and, and body press the Orangaroo. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And hopefully we can take down this Dragapult. Because the Dragapult's the biggest, the biggest thorn in our sides. But once we got rid of everything else and we can concentrate down on the Dragapult, it gets a little, maybe a little bit easier, but I don't know. Dragapult's always a very solid Pokemon. <sighs> Let's see what this Orangaroo can do. Dragon Darts, yep. Is the Expanding Force going to be enough? I don't think it is, you know. No, I just don't, I think we're too... Okay, we get the Crunch. It's a nice chunk of damage. Energy ball. Wow. No expanding force. Getting rid of the scrap. Trying to get rid of the scrafty. Um Yeah. Okay. Well, we get that. Okay. Wow. Well. Yeah, now Torko can't really hit the Dragapult. And they're gonna have to Dragon Darts this next turn. So we can I guess it's a waiting game now. An Ice Q can come in. Uh, I don't think we switch here. I think we just try for the crunch. Dragon Darts will take down Scrafty for sure. Um, and it's going to be like a stall, a PP stall wall, and on time with with Torko. But we got leftovers, so I think we're kind of going to be all right. Maybe it's just who can stall this out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really expect this game to go like this, but hopefully Ice Cube can come in and kind of finish this off for us with, with an Icicle Crash. That's what I'm hoping for. Ice Cube is quite bulky, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to take at least one attack um, from the Dragapult. It's a shame that we haven't got the hail up, but it's just it's just how it is. We'll go for another Iron Defense. Um, we don't want to go anything other than Icicle Crash here. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see. I'll see if I can take this calm border off. And um, I'll see if I can, yeah, there's the, I'm going to move this down so we can see the, uh, the health here when it comes back in. Um, and that should be, uh, we'll just take the calm border off completely. We get the iron defense, the icicle crash going to miss. The most unprofessional calm moving round in one game. I do apologize, my friends, but um, that's just how it is. So let's just take a recess. Let's see, we are plus six with Torko. We can waste some time and go for some amnesias. He's not going to attack into us there. We can't protect here, so we've just got to hope if Ice Q can survive. If Ice Q takes this, then we we win the match. But no, we can't. So we're going to go. We're going to go to time. We're going to go to time, 100%. So. You know, the left leftovers is going to be, you know, what wins us the game, I think. Um, we'll be able to see what the Dragapult's health is in a minute. Let's just move this camera. Uh, let's move this over here so we can see all the health gauges. It'd probably be better over there in the end. Um, I mean, yeah, we just amnesia again. Not the way we want to end the draft league today, but I think needs must. We need the win. We need the win. So we're going to have to try and, and win it in any way we can. Obviously, critical hits and things like that can change things, but we've got to just hope that we don't get any. Dragon Dot's coming out. Going to hit double. Yep. Taking like, no damage. And I mean, we are probably going to be able to restore a little bit more from that. This is where we want the heat wave. If we just had heat wave of our amnesia, I was just worried about like something like Primarina coming onto the field. Um, I think that would have been a little bit more problematic for us. Um, we'll just protect now. But we just need to get like as close to max HP as possible and have as much of our time left as possible. So let's see. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Even if if this will this will do the job, we'll see. We'll just have to play it out and see because we can't afford to to lose this game. Like that's the thing. We don't want to go five three. We want to go six two. So 
I wonder how much, he, like, the, the thing is with the Dragapult, it's been on the field the entire match, right? He hasn't switched it out once, so it has used a lot of attacks throughout this game. So we're well into, like, it's used a lot of its PP already. Um, can go for another Amnesia here. It's a thing if he starts going for these Phantom Forces, he kind of dodges a turn, so it's kind of wasting our PP. But the thing is with Amnesia and, and Iron Defense, we get a lot of PP with those moves. Um, so maybe a little bit more than than what he's got. But we just got to be quick with selecting our moves, I think. We just got to be very quick with selecting our moves. And then hopefully like our time kind of clinches it for us. Dragon darts. There's a crit. That's not what we want to see. That is not. And there's a double crit. Are you actually kidding? Are you actually kidding? Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Double crit. What are the chances of that? Chat, let me know. Let me know. What are the odds of a double crit happening with Dragon Darts? I can't actually believe that. That is ridiculous. So we've got to protect this next turn. Um, maybe we can still do it. We've got, we've got three minutes of our time. I think we can still do this. Hey friends, so I'm just jumping in here while editing because I don't think anyone really wants to see this kind of play out. We didn't really want the game to go to time anyway, so I'm just speeding this up. Uh, I'm still disappointed about the double crit, but it happens, you know, I can't be too sad about it. Um, unfortunately, um, it is part of the game. I got myself into a position with Torkoal where we identified earlier on that we didn't want to get ourselves into that situation. And, you know, all credit to Bryce going for the win con there. A crit would have guaranteed him the win. And even if we hadn't got that, we just still needed to play it carefully enough where we'd got enough health back through the protects with the leftovers to uh, to get that HP number back. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd speed this up because, like I say, this would have dragged on for another good five to ten minutes of just kind of kind of stalling down the timer and like i said no one really wants to see that i hope you've enjoyed today's match though uh, if you have please leave a comment down below bryce has been a phenomenal opponent really well played to him and uh, we'll jump back in as we end the video in just a couple of seconds but bryce played it super well so we're not taking any credit away from him but he's just gonna let the timer run down now and that's gonna be it and uh i think that is gonna be game because i don't think we've got enough health to take this game and double crit has just killed us. Killed us off. Yeah. Ah! I hate this. Hate this. Okay. Well, good game to Bryce. Um, and you played it super well. He came back great in that second game. Make sure you do check out uh, his side of the battle. Obviously, all his socials are linked down below. Um, I'm a little bit sad about how that ended and how it goes to time as well. That's not really how we want to end the draft league. Um, Torkoal, I think a bad decision on my end with not running Heatwave. We didn't need Amnesia when I thought it might be useful, but then I expected Primarina and that's the that's the things, you know, you, t you make those decisions. But uh, I will end in saying thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a great rest of your day, whatever you're up to. Leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and very good game to Bryce. And uh, we'll see you next week for another episode of the X9 League. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.